Okay, so here we are. Um, this is Mark 1 MX5 1.8 oil pump. Um, basically, um, done a full rebuild on the engine. Um, as I'm taking things apart, I'm finding strange marks everywhere. It looks like a bit like uh, oil starvation. Um, only just starting to come through. It's not not much, but um, I want to rebuild the engine anyway. So. Here we go. Um, at the top, we do the pressure relief valve, which is just over here. Um, how these go? I've already pre-taken this, uh, taken this one out already. Um, I don't know if you can see inside. Um, it doesn't look too bad. A little bit of marking. Oh, right there we go. A little bit of marking going on in the side. Um, these are prone to sticking. Uh, the pressure relief valve sticking. Um, so, how they come out is you pull the split pin, which goes through that little hole there. Then, the cap goes the flat side towards you, and this little recess goes into the top of the spring, which then sits inside the plunger. Now, the plunger isn't like a normal tap it plunger, like on a hydraulic lifter. It's basically just a straight cap. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. It's basically just a cap. <clears throat> now, upon inspection, I know that these things stick. So I've had a good look at the valve itself. So, so far, it looks all right. Then all of a sudden, there we go. That is our problem. So the damage caused to my engine was basically down to the, um, Pressure relief valve sticking. So it's got me a bit, I guess there we go, it's going to a bit better. Right? You can see the marks where this thing is literally just like welded itself. It's only on one side, so the pressure relief valve stuck um, into this position. It was an absolute bitch to get out, to be honest. I tried filming it live, but I just could not get this thing out. Um, so. I've already taken most of the marks out on the back. So basically, right, so the, the pump spins clockwise. This is face on as it goes into the engine. In mine, I have little screws all the way around the outside. Now these things were in super tight. Um, if you ever, two seconds. If you ever took this thing apart, um, the torque sends are stupid on them. I know they use Loctite and things like that, but I don't know how are you meant to get this torque with a screwdriver? Um, I've searched everywhere for torque sends, these things, I can't find any. So if you suspect your oil pump, um, it's got a failure. Um, just replaces a matter of course, really. So the cap comes off. So this is the back that goes in. So far, so good. Doesn't look too bad. Here the cogs. I've already walked down once, but basically, um, this is the orientation that's going to go into the engine. So what happens is you got these little flat edges either side in there. They go on to um, then to be a crank nose has flat edges as well. So it basically just turns and the cogs offset. Let the oil in, squeeze it out. Very simple method, really. Um, these cogs just pull out. Then you got the big one. Then we can take a look inside. And straight away, you can see score marks above the top side and down on the bottom. Put your finger in there, and I can literally feel my finger in it. Um, I can scrape scrape away at things which means that the other side of these is going to be chewed so the little bit of mark nothing much on this one but this this big one here this is going to be the one that's going to be touching everything the size of the users and things there you go and as you can see very big score marks on the outside Meaning this thing's toast. 
So, um, I got another one coming for uh, which a Bangry oil pump from America coming through. Um, this plunger goes in there in the top of the brush relief valve to get it out. I actually had to put um, like a long nose pliers up inside it and I knew it was seized anyway, I couldn't get it out. Usually this should just fall out so I had to put that inside that mark there and basically flick it out. And there you go. One lacquered pump. You're rebuilding. If you find your pumps okay, what you do, cog sits inside. Um, there are dots. There are dots on both of them. I'm not sure if they're timed. Um, they weren't mated or anything when I was out. Uh, when I first take them out, took them out. Um, what they recommend you do uh, when you redo uh, when you put the pump back together is to prime them with Vaseline. Um, so you're packing all the edges with Vaseline or the equivalent. Um, the pickups and things like that. So then when the engine starts down in there, when the engine starts, it's gonna it's lubricated basically. There you go. I'll say an oil pump works. And an accurate one works without.